Fireworks, music and Hollywood stunts, athlete celebrators Tom Cruise brings to a close the Paris Olympics in a spectacular ceremony. Right, let's have a look at this morning's Monday front pages, shall we? And the Mirror has a tribute from the parents of nine-year-old Alice de Silva Aguiar, who was killed in Southport two weeks ago. A funeral was held yesterday and the front page there shows the last photo of Alice. It was taken at the very Taylor Swift dance class she was attending on the day of the attack, so just an hour or so before she died. The Daily Mail also reports on Alice's funeral and a plea from her parents that no more violence is carried out in her name. As you can see, the paper also has an image of the Prince and Princess of Wales who sent a video message to Team GB following their medal success at the Olympics. He's looking a bit rugged there, isn't he, with his beard? Yes, yeah, yeah, he's not had a shave. <laughs> Might <laughs> catch on, that's He's job. on holiday, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the eye today is marking the end of the Olympics with pictures from last night's spectacular closing ceremony. We saw some of those images a few minutes ago. The headline, Merci, Paris. A very good. Thanks, Paris. <laughs> um, inside the papers today, there's a story here that I love, which is about cake. We like cake, don't we, John? We all like cake. Cake for breakfast, always. Apparently, according to a survey, our favourite cake in the UK has for many, many years been Victoria Sponge. Classic. No surprise. Yeah. It's been knocked off the top spot, John. In fact, it's down to number five in the top ten. And the top cake now, what's the favourite cake, the most ordered cake in Britain today? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. Something like a coffee cake? Or no, something? that's no? just you. It's wishful thinking. <laughs> no, yeah. you love coffee cake, don't you? No. It's cheesecake. It's number one. It's number one. It's a bit American, isn't it? It's very American. Cheesecake, I just wouldn't have thought that at all. I would have said Victoria Sponge reigns supreme, apart from maybe, oh, in at number four, a lemon drizzle. Lemon. Do you remember we made lemon drizzle cake? I do remember we, we had to for compete. Ruby Tando, yeah. Yeah, we had to, we had to both make a lemon drizzle cake, and then we got judged on our cakes. Yeah. Who Judging won, John? Was harsh. Who, who won, you John? You won, Sal. <laughs> you won. But where's where's scones? No. The scones. No cream tea. Your favourite coffee cake is in at number, number ten. Number ten, lemon meringue pie. It's all very. It's... Millionaire shortbread. That's not cake. Donuts again, not cake. You could say cheesecake, not cake, really. I know it's called Oh, let's cake. not start that, but, yeah, if, if you're right. If you don't right. fancy cake, maybe seaweed is your style. Oh, the on. Express have got a story here saying that uh, they've done a big study in Japan where apparently levels of Parkinson's disease are quite low and they think that maybe eating seaweed, as they do in Japan, as part of the diet, is part of the reason for that. Wow. So, coming soon to a supermarket near you. More seaweed. Yeah. With your Victoria sponge on the side. <laughs> I'm not sure they go together. Uh, it's still <laughs> sense of what to expect from LA uh, in four years' time. And I think they know that they've got a tough act to follow here in Paris. But what they'll want to do is really showcase uh, American culture, showcase LA. They want to show that they're, they're more than just the Hollywood sign. They're more than cars backed up on, on the freeway. Um, they've invested a lot of money into their infrastructure, into their public transport. We're going to see sports that we haven't seen before that feel very American, like flag football, for example. A baseball makes a return to the programme uh, and they'll be surfing off the coast of the Pacific as well. But yeah, I think we're going to get a very Hollywood-style game from the looks of it uh, in four years time but you know Paris really has set a high bar for the organizers we'll see you there Katie look forward to it four <laughs> years to go thanks so much for the last few weeks you've been brilliant maybe get off that very oh, busy thank road thank you very much it's been great talking to you <laughs> oh it's been brilliant absolutely brilliant sounds like she's on a dual carriage yeah, road. life returning to normal yes um, loudly in Paris we've been really enjoying this survey haven't we John this official <laughs> YouGov survey about how many Britons reckon they could take part in the 2028 Olympics if they started training today. And I admire the ambition. <laughs> it's hilarious. 27% of us apparently thinks that if we started training today, we would make Team GB's yeah. Olympic team yeah. in, in Los Angeles. In four years' time. So 7% of the people who responded think they'd make the rowing team. And this is really impressive. 6% think they'd make the 100-metre sprint final. 13% of us think we could get into the archery squad and 15% of us, that's the record, think we could do the air right. It just shows how easy it can look on telly. You know yes. what I mean? When you're watching the pros do yes. it. Yes, yes. Not easy. What are you going to do? Dressage, you were in? No, fencing. Fencing. I'm going to do shot put. See you there. <laughs> OK. I wonder what our Carol would do. Morning, Carol. Good morning. Definitely archery. Oh, I wouldn't mind having a bat at that. Mm.